because no other committee would do it. Think about this. This town hall, guess where? Chairman Nathan's district of Manhattan. I mean, it's interesting. It's it's definitely a historic moment and uh, something that you know I wanted to really see uh, in full. You know, not just media clips that can sometimes distort things, but you know, really see this for myself. I mean, the accusations against the president are quite serious, and um, you know, this is going to be something that we talk about for a while. And uh, you know, I want to be able to tell my kids that I was there to witness all of it. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony that you are about I just have a simple motion, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I've never really seen him speak, like, in person before. And, um, I mean, he seems remorseful. He seems like he genuinely feels badly for what he did. And, um, you know, he has nothing to lose now. He's going to jail anyway. Um, this kind of seems like him trying to, uh, to correct the record, to have history, you know, view him in a more favorable light. And nothing but the truth. Correct the record. Answer the committee's question, Trump, that you would one day run for the president. Why? I am ashamed of it. Who knew that Roger Stone was talking with Julian Assange? which stated specifically. I just think this is a really important um, piece of history this morning. Um, and I think it's very apropos of DC that it's kind of a public event. Between the Iowa caucus and Jen lied about it too. This Mr. Trump had made clear to me what I was doing is explaining to the uh, I think Michael Cohen has poise right now. Um, he, he's going to jail. He's going to prison uh, for what three years anyway. So I don't think he really has anything to lose. Um, I just think this is his time just to free his conscience and, and, and free it up. So um, I believe this is Michael Cohen just atoning for his sins. And I am going to prison. I will. I don't think anybody would dispute this. I think it's pretty entertaining. Um, I mean, you know, it's typical partisan politics that are uh, just just kind of emblematic of this, uh, you know, age. It's it's kind of sad, but um, it's the state we're in. Frankly, I'm getting more entertainment value out of it than I think it's actually um, helping the country or, or really adding anything to you know national dialogue. It's just um, the same things we've been seeing over the last you know four or five years, or even before, really. How many people were? Yes, they did. They